Hello, friends. Pastor Ben Pierce here in 301 Studios. Back with another uh, edition of the uh, Who Died and Made You King. Now, the challenge that we have in doing this is, is keeping it under three minutes. And so uh, that has always been the challenge. So we're going to uh, shorten these a little bit. But today we're getting into some of the best stories about the kings. And we're going to start today with Asa's son. Now you remember Asa started out well, didn't end as good, but his son's name is Jehoshaphat. Now he is first mentioned in 1 Kings chapter 15, verse 24, and they're told that he would succeed Asa. And then in 1 Kings 22, 42, he appears again, and he's 35 years old when he starts to reign. Now, he's going to reign for 25 years, so, so we're going to have a lot of good stories there from 873 to about 848 B.C. Now, 1 Kings 22 is a, kind of a succinct summary of his reign. 2 Chronicles 17 through 22 gives us a little more detail of his life. So I want to start today by looking at 2 Chronicles 17, uh, verses 3 through 6. And we're going to see that the Lord was with Jehoshaphat because he followed the Lord like his forefathers, David. Now, he didn't consult false idols of the land, uh, and the Lord established Jehoshaphat's kingdom. Now, people bought gifts to Jehoshaphat, and he had great wealth and honor. He removed the high places and the Asherah poles from Judah, and most of the high places were places of worship, usually on mountains, usually shrines or an altar to a false god. He begins to remove those militarily. He fortified his defenses against the northern kingdom. He made peace with the northern kingdom. Now, one of the problems we're going to see with Jehoshaphat is he sometimes made some bad alliances. You know, that's one of the things that God wants us to make sure of is because the truth of it is, is bad morals corrupt good company. Jehoshaphat uh, asked uh, when he and Ahab are working together and they're going to go up and attack someone, Jehoshaphat's going to say, Ahab, can we at least ask a prophet? Ahab says, well, I got 400 of them for you. Let's go ahead and ask them. Well, every one of those prophets is going to tell Ahab and Jehoshaphat, go, God's going to give you the victory. Well, Jehoshaphat sees there's not a, a prophet of God. Can we at least ask one? Now, love, it's almost comical. Ahab says, well, Jehoshaphat, there is this one guy, but I don't like him. He never tells me what I want to hear. Isn't that like today's crowd? We just want our ears tickled. Well, his name is Micaiah. The prophet, his name is Micaiah. And Micaiah goes to him, and Micaiah's going to be a little sarcastic. And he's going to say, oh, yeah, go ahead and attack. Ahab's not amused. And he says, how many times have I got to ask you to tell the truth? And then Micaiah says, truth. You want the truth? I saw all of Israel scattered on the hills like sheep without a shepherd. And those people did not have a master. So in other words, Ahab, this is not going to end well for you. Jehoshaphat goes along with the attack. That was a bad move. Ahab is killed. Jehoshaphat barely escapes. Now, Jehu comes to Jehoshaphat and says, what were you thinking? Now the wrath of God is against you. But you did remove the high places, and you have set your heart to seeking God. So he continues to institute these reforms and he appoints judges to make righteous judgments. He's, he's starting off on a good foot. Here's a couple of lessons we're going to learn from part one of Jehoshaphat. When God speaks, listen. Bad company corrupts good morals. And last but not least, and remember this, God honors the heart that seeks him. Let's seek him together, Fuquay Arena Baptist Church. Thank you for listening. God bless you.